Hello Moshpad Army, Giras Kayo, right next to me, the one and only Winnie Stigma of Agnostic Front and we will talk about their current tour and their future plans. So <laughs> you are celebrating um, on this tour, Victim and Pain. 35 years of uh, that my, one of my first albums, yeah. you know, that's pretty cool. I call it the greatest mistake of my life. Why? Because the timing's off, the tempo's off. Uh, it was a, a 16 track recording yeah. at the time 16 track was like you know big deal but because uh, my band down there we you know practice and of course we're gonna write it we're writing a new album right now yeah uh, I'm, I just got off stage to come up here to do this interview as we're writing the record now hey look at that yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna record it like uh, within a month or so yeah um, uh, yeah because uh, we get back on the 8th uh, to, to U.S. and then on the 14th to the 24th I record an album mm. in, in uh, Ca California yeah. then uh, I got a show on the 27th this is hardcore yeah. it's a big show on the East Coast and, uh, and then I go back to Europe yeah. for August from 8th to the 31st and I'm home yeah. for uh, the end of the summer. The, that's it. Yeah. Boom. There goes my summer. Then we come back again in November. Mm. We do like the England, Ireland, UK type thing. And uh, But yesterday we played that big show. What was the show I played yesterday? In Dessel at the Grass Pop Metal Oh, meeting. the Grass Pop. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, it was great, man. I had a, what a show. You know, sometimes it, you, you have a good show. Believe me, yeah. a lot of bombs, you know? Yes, <laughs> Uh, that's my middle name but uh, what a show I mean it just couldn't be better you know definitely um, yeah. I was standing in a crowd and it was like well wow, between I don't know uh, 10 or 12 thousand people at least it was really yeah. packed and everything yeah. and was just staring like this oh I can't see yeah. okay there's stigma there's Robert mm. like that and the whole crowd in the front I saw uh, on Instagram Robert's Instagram they were posting videos it was completely going nuts it was mm. a hot weather and everything but the crowd they gave everything yeah oh, that's great really man. we really we, we take the cake yeah. every now and again you know but it's uh, cool to see that also the fans and the people uh, yeah that, that we get involved with it like you know you know get involved in hardcore and the yeah. movement yeah definitely and also um like you also said on the stage it's because of your first record victim in pain and yeah. they're going completely nuts and yeah also that on uh, cortex records yeah they are collaborating with them that they will bring out a special vinyl mm -hmm. uh, maybe you want to talk about that well I'll be in Berlin tomorrow yeah. and uh, we're gonna have a little uh, like uh, uh, a record release party I guess you can yeah. call it and uh, that you know so we'll, we'll celebrate that tomorrow I'll, I'll be at the SO 36 mm. right right in Kreuzberg Kreuzberg I love saying that yeah. and uh, it's going to be good. It's yeah. going to, going to, it's a sold out show, you know. It's it's always it's a big club, you know. It's really cool. I've been yeah. playing there for years, man, you know. And I'm part of the 40th anniversary mm -hmm. to uh, SO36, so it's it's an honor to be a uh, part of that. Also, yeah, you know, I have a lot of good friends <laughs> there, you know. Obviously, of course, the hardcore scene, especially yeah. in Berlin and Kreuzberg, is very, yeah. very big. Like I mentioned yeah. before, the Cortex Records, SO36 long history but uh, yeah I want to stick about this um, fourth uh, anniversary about your record and if you compare the songwriting back then yeah. to your um, last record yeah. how would you describe uh, that oh uh, it's, it's a lot more intricate I guess you mm. could say it's recorded different the guitars are different mm. the studios are different mm. uh, the distortion boxes you know like a, yeah, yeah. a pedal on Pedals. the floor they're different they don't they wrote they years ago the, the distortion boxes were heavy and you opened the guts yeah. it looked like you know big chips in it you know yeah. just like you look at a lot of old electronics and it has that because those chips hold a lot of carbon mm. and element in there crazy and it just resonates that sound that you want now everything is microchipped yeah. you know it's like it's programmed in there like yeah. kind of and it don't have that natu unnatural like I don't know it's it's a little different. Yeah. They, it's done different now. 
Um, I met Tommy Victor of Prong a couple months ago, <laughs> and you were on tour with him right. with uh, Prong and Hate Breed, and he also recorded your live record live at CBGBs because right. he was working over there. Yes. And he told me in the interview. I asked him also about how it was back in the day to record and record. He said, "Damn, he could." Um, you know, put money on the table and go into a studio which was on the Bowery Street somewhere and today they're all millionaires and yeah, I don't yeah, know, yeah. there's completely yeah. a different, oh, no, yeah, don't wanna uh, say, I don't want to say scene, but there's some kind of, it's completely different and today yeah. everybody is um, A lot of places are different, but you know, you know, sometimes you, you'd be surprised, mm -hmm. you know, and Tommy's a great guy, he was my sound man for a lot of years, we just toured with them with Hate Breed, like, you know, on their 25th anniversary, yeah. that was real fun, great guy, we're going to hook, hook up with Prong soon, Yeah, you know, okay. with the, we're doing a little tour, great guys, great band. Um, it's right, that was your first tour together, right? Your first uh, tour was a uh, prong and agnostic I, front. I, no? I, I can't remember. Yeah. Jesus. He yeah. they told me that uh, told that on uh, Facebook. That oh, it was the first yeah. uh, yeah. tour. Yeah. But um, you know each other since the 80s or oh, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a totally crazy. Yeah, it's great. You know, we had a lot of good fun. Yeah. And um, yeah, I want to stick about your new record. Um, you told a little bit thing about it that you are working on that currently. Working on it right now. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one of the new songs. Nice. Yeah. So, do we have a concept in mind? Which story you want to tell? Uh, you know, maybe like a trilogy of stories. Yeah. Uh, life in a fast lane, life yeah. without life. You yeah. know, you know, just about life and yeah. stuff like that. We we didn't. Uh, I didn't make the pace of the record yet. Yeah. Because usually. A, you try to make a good pace, like yeah. one song after another, like the goes, like, you know. So we're, we're still uh, in the recording yeah. stage yet, nice. you know. We didn't name it or nothing, you know. Okay, nice. I, I want to name it The Great Vinny Stigma, but they don't want to go for that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so our magazine is called Moshpet Passion. Our magazine is called Moshpet Passion, and our um, artist always is telling a personal Moshpet experience. And um, I'm asking you now, um, or at least I'm giving you free venue names from the New York City area and clubs, and maybe you have some kind of silly, interesting, crazy mosh pit experience which come up in your mind. The first club I want to talk about is, of course, the one and only... CBGB's, yeah. of course, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I practically lived in CBGB's. Uh, I cracked my head open yeah. at CBGB's doing a stage dive. Yeah. I, uh, I I broke my finger there. Yeah. You know, uh, my friend got drunk, took off all his clothes, and he jumped over the bar. Yeah. I was like, "Wow, this guy's crazy." Yeah. I mean, a lot of crazy, a lot of good, yeah. a lot of fun, a lot of years. I'm so honored that I have a live album from C like a uh, from Hilly. You know, that was a. a you know, it was only like 10,000 days yeah. long, CBG, and I got a slice of, uh, one day on a record. I used to do so many benefits for them, like we used to do can drives, you know, for the homeless. Yeah. I, I, I helped out a lot, and I'm glad I did. Yeah. You know, it was, oh, <laughs> shut up down there. <laughs> Listen to that garbage over there. But uh, it was... A lot of great days. Yeah. That was my home. And the next club, the A7. Oh, right. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. A7. Yeah. Another great club. That, that that was the birth of New York Hardcore. Yeah. They, you know, that was another special. I just played there with my solo band, Stigma. Yeah. And it was the first time I'd been on that stage in 37, 38, 38 years, whatever. Yeah. Over, over 35 years. Mm. And to think that I'm back on the same, like, you know, it's yeah, awesome, yeah. you know, that like, thank God, I, that God gives me this ability that mm -hmm. I could, I'm, I'm mentally, physically, and spiritually strong, you know, and I still mm -hmm. could bring it. Yeah. Man, yesterday's show, I still could bring it. When the day comes, I can't bring it, yeah. I lose a step, yeah. I step off. That curtain falls on yeah. everyone. Yeah. You know, so, just waiting for that day to come. <laughs> Hello, no, no, go. No, hopefully <laughs> not. So the third one is the Roxy. It's the Roxy one in Manhattan. 
Oh, no. Uh, I would say, personally, I would go Max's Kansas City. Max's Kansas City, of course. That would be next one. Yeah, I would say, because I, I had a lot of good fun there, you know. It was where I really came, because it's early. Yeah. And I I really became on the scene, like, kind of, I guess you could say. I mean, I'd be hanging out with Frankie Cadillac, yeah. Vinny Stigma, Johnny <laughs> Thunders, you know, everybody had a name, you know. Yeah. It was cool, and but a lot of the music back then yeah. it was blues rock sped yeah. up a little, and um, you know, burl with a burlesque twist mm -hmm. to it, like with that glam. I was chaos punk, man. I said, I want to do it louder. Yeah. I want to do it faster, you know. And when the, the other bands were coming up, like the Stimulators yeah. or the b big band, you know, at the time, and. Uh, you know the New York influence and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I'm glad I went that way. Yeah. You know, and uh, I I ha I still talk to some. I remember I was over 40 years ago. Yeah, I, I was talking to a friend. I said, "You for over 40 years ago, me and you were standing here dressed up as droogies." Yeah, you know. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> I was cool. Like you know that 40 year came out. I'm gonna stand there 50 when it's 50 years. Yeah. I'm gonna grab my friend. Yeah, stand in that spot. To celebrate you know, it. Celebrate, you know? Yeah, that's crazy. You drink something yeah. or whatever. Yeah. What I really like about these clubs, so especially when it comes to uh, documentaries, um, that, uh, for instance, your new movie, movie uh, The Godfathers of Hardcore, also portrayed that very, very well. And um, But the most hardcore bands which are now coming and are new and found in New York, where um, do they play? Is there also kind of special places like a CBGB's well, A7 something like that well there's a there's a the place like the Black Dawn in Queens and <coughs> a bunch of uh, Brooklyn shows you know mm. um, well we're, they're redoing a couple of clubs in New York mm. so maybe by next year they'll, they'll bring them back yep. you know it comes and goes that's yep. how it is but basically they yep. they put the big shows on yep. and the little it's hard for a little a bit smaller yep. band you know, and uh, we need that. You got to support your local hardcore scene. Yeah. You know, that's very important. Get involved. You know, uh, any way you could. Yeah. You know, open a club, write a magazine, be a yeah. photographer. Just be part of it. You're more than welcome. Definitely. You know, everyone's welcome in hardcore. Definitely. That's what I love about it. Yeah, definitely. You know, cool. and, and, and the, the, the diversity of hardcore is. That's that's what we tried to, when we record the record. Yep. You know, you know. Okay, we're practicing now, by the way. The first yeah. tunes of the new yeah, record. Yeah, yeah, you're getting a little glimpse of the new album. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I like this song too. Nice. And uh, you know, we're working hard. We're we're still doing it. Still true to the game. Mm -hmm. You know, that's very important. I always say to somebody like you know you or whatever. <laughs> I said, do you believe in that band? Yeah. You know, and like, you know, yeah, you know, but the really, does the band believe in themselves yeah. is more important because if the if a band doesn't believe in itself, you can forget it. Yeah, they're not, you know, it's there's nothing there. To no, it's it's also not right if bands just doing it for the money because it's somehow. Betraying the fans. I mean, on the other hand, I can understand hey, the music business. It yeah, changed. Maybe that, and or the trend mm. too. You know that. Yeah. I mean, I see so many bands come and go. Mm. I mean, I get it. We all have lives. Yeah. I own the business. I have children. I'm a I'm a senior citizen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and if I could do it, yeah. You, know, you could do it. Yeah. You know? So. Uh, which, you know, I, I encourage all, all the kids out there, mm. you know, just go ahead. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat the little stuff, man. Yeah. You know, you'll get there. You know, uh, I need somebody to take my place when I'm gone. So, you know, so uh, I know there's a kid. I, I know there's another Vinny Stigma out there somewhere. And it's going to be better than me, too. <laughs> and faster and louder and younger cool. and cuter. <laughs> you know, I used to be cute when I was young, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Forget it. Just look at me now. 
that's your words, not <laughs> my words. <laughs> <laughs> so, Winnie, I think um, these were great words to close the interview. Okay. Thank you very much for your time, for the interview, also your words, very interesting. I wish you all the best. Also, listen, uh, to yeah, looking yeah. forward for the new record. Yeah. Hope to see you soon. I will cool. stay, watch the show. Yeah, cool. If you want to say anything, um, you can do it now. Well, you could always come to New York Hardcore Tattoos, come down, visit me, or like get tattooed, or come to New York, support your local hardcore scene, like I said, you know, come to the shows, meet me, meet this guy right here, we'll interview you, and uh, God's with us. Thank you. Yeah, man. Freunde, ich hoffe, euch hat das Interview gefallen. Damit ihr keine Videos verpasst, abonniert unseren Channel. Auf unserem Kanal findet ihr noch weitere interessante Interviews mit namhaften Bands. Schaut euch auch auf unserer Facebook-Seite herum, wo wir exklusiven Content wie interessante Beiträge, Konzertfotos oder Videos uploaden. Auf unserer Webseite www.moshpitpassion.de findet ihr CD-Reviews, Konzertfotos, Konzertberichte, Interviews und viele, vieles mehr.